welcome to my channel. Thank you for checking out Amanda Lee Beauty. Today I put together this daytime glam, kind of like day date makeup, doing a one brand tutorial. I decided to stick with Tarte because I realized as I was going through my collection, I have an awful lot of Tarte products with the exclusions of my eyebrows, my primer, mascara, and eyeliner. Everything else is Tarte. So if you wanna know how I got this look, please stay tuned and if you like this video and you would like to see more, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below about what you did like, what you didn't like. We can discuss that on an open platform. I am working on getting a camera, guys. Please bear with me. It seems like life is kinda hitting me left and right, but that's okay because I'm gonna stay consistent, I'm gonna remain diligent, and we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing this. So, if you wanna see how I got this look, please stay tuned and let's get on into the video. So I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet because I have a little day date with my little boy. We're gonna go see Wonder Woman. And I got my little Wonder Woman t-shirt on. <laughs> I'm ready for the day. So for the look that I chose to go with today, I found a photo on Google that inspired me. And some of my friends and family on Facebook wanted to see it. So I chose to do a one brand tutorial using Tarte today. I did prime my face already. I did do my eyebrows and I will link all those products down below. So I'm going to use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and I have to mix. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Fair Light Neutral. One full pump of that. And like two drops, maybe not even, a medium neutral. Yes. If I can insert the photo in the video, I will. And it's just a really nice, like daytime, glamorous, I thought would be like great for a day date, like a lunch date. definitely wouldn't want to wear this foundation if you're going to be using flash photography. Flash photography causes flash back or a white cast in your photos from the SPF. And I like blending this in with my beauty blender. I just prefer the finish that way. Now I'm going to conceal my eyelids. Well, really, I'm going to prime my eyelids, but I like to do that with my concealer. I'm gonna go with my Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush to blend that in. This way I don't disrupt the shape of my eyebrows. Plus it gives me the ability to moderately carve them out. It's not the most precise brush, but it does give me a little more precision than using my Beauty Blender to do this. Now to set my eye, my eyelids down, I'm going to use my Tarte Filtered Light Setting Powder. I haven't really used much of this yet, so we're gonna find out how it works together. Now using my Bedellum 787 brush, I'm going to use my Tardius Pro Palette today to create this eye look. This palette was going to be perfect for that. So going down with my first shade, I'm going to use Bold. Which is right there. Now I chose to do my eye makeup before my concealer underneath my eyes. So this way we can do any cleanup, sharpen up the look if we have to. Please excuse my lighting, I broke a bulb today. And I foolishly thought, oh, it's okay, we can fix this, we'll just, We'll go to Walmart and we'll get a new bulb at Walmart. It doesn't work like that. Nope, not those kind of bulbs. So I have to order it off Amazon. Now using my Zoeva Lux Petite Crease Brush 231. I think I'm gonna do Chic and Profesh. Chic 
and pearl flesh. I want to mix them together. I want this to be a little more mauve and I want this to be a little bit lighter. Just dip it back into chic. Chic and profesh mix. Now going in with my Bedellum Tools 775 brush. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Classic right here. And that's just to give myself a little bit of background for all the shimmer shades I'm going to place over top of it. Tardius Pro Glow Palette. I'm going to use my highlighters for my shimmer shades. And I'm going in right now with the shades, the shade, with the shade Stunner. Now I'm also going to go in the shade lit just to warm it up a little bit. Now my blending brush just to softly buff the edges of that highlight color in my transition shade. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight my under eyes and this is my opportunity to clean up my lines. But I'm going to use two different concealers because my Shape Tape concealer is just a little bit too light and too heavy for the look that I'm going for even though I'm using two concealers. But you'll also see. I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. And I'm using this one more because it's a little bit warmer. So it's going to color correct a little bit my inner circle, my under eye bags and my inner circles here. and the shape tape is going to highlight my cheekbones. So first I'm going to go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay. Notice how I'm not bringing it directly under my eye. Very outer corner, a little bit. A few little strokes. Just a few, a few little strokes of the concealer as I pile it on. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm going to highlight, but this I'm going to use very sparingly, at least to me. I consider it to be sparing 90% of the time. This is what I'm wearing to work, so I know that it holds up throughout the day. Fights. So far, those hot days in the salon. I'm just going to dab a little bit where I put the other concealer. Dab here. Back in with my Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush. Brush. Get it together to blend this out. I like to start on the sides of my nose and then just lightly pat and with moderate swiping. Giving special focus to my smile lines. 
And as you can tell, I'm mainly patting with little swipes. If you can't tell that's what I'm doing, then let me tell you that is what I'm doing. And I like to shape my concealer into a V. This just helps lay the groundwork for when I go in with my clean bronzer and round out my head a little bit. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend out the edges of that concealer to make it more seamless. And I like to use the butt end over the edges to blend it in with my foundation because the, my foundation is still left over on this sponge. I can take to go into the inner corners of the eyes. Now back in with that Tardius Pro Glow palette, I'm going to use this shade shade as my cream bronzer rather than my contour. I think it, for my skin tone, it's a little bit too warm for a contour. Not that this is an orangey color by any means, it's just got too much of a warm undertone for, for my complexion. I know my brushes are filthy, but what ems? I'm going in with my Real Techniques domed shadow brush to apply it. I like to do it in like an oval shape here. And now another one here. And then I fill that in with just a few little dots. And I connect it here. Then I like to go from this point down my cheekbones in there because this is where I would be contouring right in here if I was contouring. And I'm going to repeat that over here. Now I'm going in with my Bedellum Tools 955 blending brush and I'm going to blend out that cream bronzer but first what I really need to do is put on a headband. Oh, I really look like a little girl. <laughs> Okay, my headband is on, now it's time to blend this out. Here we go. I'm just gonna use my camera as my mirror because this is going to be so much easier. So sorry if I'm not giving you much eye contact right now. I love this color, I have a green bronzer. Look how pretty it is. It's so natural looking. like to go over the edges again with the butt end of my beauty blender and just make sure that that blends in as well again with the pointed tip just to get any creasing out from under my eye because now we're going to set the rest of the face using that new Tarte, what is it, Filtered Light Setting Powder. So let's see how it works. Now it's left on the sponge, I'm going to set the rest of my face and blend in. definitely oxidized. Something with their setting powders just always make the concealers oxidize. I mean it's not the end of the world it still looks good. Now using my Park Ave Princess bronzer. I only have this bronzer in this palette even though this palette is no longer for sale. They do have something like it where it has the same bronzer and I believe the same highlighter just without the blush. I will link that down below. I'll put it on the description bar. Um, the brush I'm using. Hold on. I'm using my Zoeva Luxe Face 101 Definer Brush. And I love this brush because it comes to that nice kind of pointed tip, but yet it's fluffy. So as you can see, I'm able to be really, really precise as to where I'm going to place this bronzer. 
but yet it blends it out still so seamlessly. This was my everyday bronzer for the longest. Just shaping my nose ever so slightly with my bronzer brush. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with the color Parte or Par, pa, whatever. Parte. It looks almost like it would be Potty. Where they're drawing out the A. And I'm going in with my Zoeva 127 Lux Sheer Cheek Brush in the shade Potty. A very soft sheen to it. I love this brush. I think it's so easy to stay on the high points of your cheekbone. Over it again with my bronzer brush to buff everything in. You want it to look nice and Now for highlight, I'm going to go in with the shade Strobe and Stunner out of my Tardis Pro Glow Palette. I have been using this non-stop since I've gotten it. And I'm doing this tips of my eyebrows. I'm again mixing back and forth between these two. Coming down the sides and right here. And I do it in soft circular motions. Down the bridge of my nose. Very lightly, I don't need a strong nose highlight. Again, I'm going to take my bronzer brush and blend that out. I just want to blend it in. I don't like a very streaky highlight. Now I'm gonna go back in with my blush brush, just in case if I lost any of that color in all of my blending. Now I'm going to line my, now I'm going to do my wing liner, but I am going to do this off camera. Okay, my liner and my mascara is done. So now we're going to go in with the Tarte False Lash. It's the Tartiest Pro Lashes in the style Flirt. Let me take them out of their packaging so you can get a better look at them. They're meant for nice length. They're not really meant for volume. You could tell in the photo that I had found that she was wearing false lashes. I wiggle them into shape. And now I'm going to size them and see how they fit. Like It's easier to do this looking down. So I'm going to trim off about this much and see if that's enough. I'm going to do my lash glue. You want to let it wait for about 30 seconds. This is the, I don't even know how to pronounce this brand. You can see it. I'll link it down below. Now aim to pop this in on the center of my lid. to do the other lash. Now I'm going to polish off my bottom lash line and I'm going to dip into the colors Chic and Profesh. These two right here. So 
going in with my Sigma E45 blending brush, tapered blending brush, and the shade Bulb to softly blend that out. Now I'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lash line, do my lips, set my face, and we're done. Mm. You ever have this happen for the love of God, do not scrape it off while it's still wet. You want to let it dry. And then you want to take like a dry, like take a, a spoolie, maybe your eyebrow spoolie or um, a mascara wand and you want to scrape it off with that. Right now I'm taking my spoolie from my brow brush. And then all I have to do is reapply some concealer there. I'm just gonna take my concealer brush whatever is left on it. Setting brush. Then again with my blending brush. Now I'm going to go in with my tart, tartiest lip paint in the shade Rose. Also going to go over that with the color Birthday Spirit. And now the look is complete. This is like a really nice daytime, lunch date, kind of look, day glam, whatever you would like to call it. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below about videos you'd like to see next, and we can get a discussion going, a dialogue happening about what you want to see, what I would like to do. I've been thinking a lot about doing an anti-haul. Let me know what you think about that. And on that note, I have to get out this door. You guys have a wonderful day and thank you for stopping by.